Well, I finally got the boot jump done. Um, took quite a long time, but we're nearly there. We're not completely there as yet. Um, still got a few bits and pieces to do on it. But um, yeah, it's usable. So I'm out here in the Yorkshire Dales. Come to the Yorkshire Dales, come to Skipton. Great to be back here. I've not been to Connolly, Riverside Caravan Park for uh, Ooh, a good 12 months so it's great to be back so um, I'm really chuffed about it let's show you around not many people here yet but it is early just twist you around have a look at that that's where we are this weekend that's a new rifter To go with the new rifter, we've got the uh, the awning that everybody's talking about. Us. Um, it's dead cheap. It's 79 quid. It's not the best awning in the world, but it's cheap. And as you can see, it works quite well. It fits fits okay. Um, just the four poles, which is not too bad. I can always attach some guy lines, extra guy lines if needed. I don't know, it'll uh, fare up when the wind gets going, but nice sunny still day today and it's looking good. I'm well pleased with it. Just fastened it over the tailgate um, on these awning straps here. Like I say, this is the first time, so um, we're experimenting today. I've no doubt that this won't be the final setup. I'm sure I'll find out what's right and what's wrong, but uh, I've got electric, <coughs> electric hookup. First time I've had electric hookup in camping for years. But I thought now I've gone old posh. Why not? Why not indeed? So, this is a boot jump, like I say, it's not completely finished. Uh, I've got two drawers to go in this section here. A drawer there that I'm going to have the cooker in. And as you can see in this section, I'm going to have another drawer maybe. Or I might just use that for storage. Um, at the moment, you can see it's uh, with not finishing it off yet. It's full of all the uh, bits and pieces that I'm working on. But all that will be cleared out and um, storage baskets or another full full drawer. Uh, so yeah, it's looking looking good. I'm pleased with it actually. I'm really pleased with it, to be honest. And then it's all under cover here. Obviously, if it's raining, it's going to be a different kettle of fish. But uh, let's not worry about the rain as yet. It's a nice sunny day today. I can step out of the boot jump, step into the awning. <clears throat> it's quite a fair sized awning. Um, it's got all mesh windows. And there's no place, it's, it's not a fancy, it's 79 quid for God's sake. You just roll the blinds down and tuck them in like that. So there's no actual pockets or anything, but they do. They do sit nicely like that. Um, you've got another another window on this side. Velcro's at the top and the zips down the bottom here. So uh, all is well. You drop down to the bottom and I'll just wind that up after. So you've got it's very airy. Quite nice actually. And already the bugs are coming in as you can see. Right, let's show you how this boot jump works, eh? Um, turn you around. As you can see. Back 
back three seats are up. All we've got to do is drop these, pull the tab, and this one, same as that. So we've dropped the back three seats. All your cushions will be packed on top here. So what we'll do, take them out. Quite simple, you just lift up the hinge boot jump like that. round to the front this folds down like so supports on the back seats it's lifts up Holds into your headrest like so. That's after you've moved the front seats forward just a little bit. And to be honest, it's as easy as that. That is as simple as that. It's all supported. This is what uh, I call day mode, which I'd, I'd have it like this during the day. And then you can put your cushions on. You've got all your cushions in. That's your bed mode. Um, the back, which you can see now, that drops down and gets supported by the two shelves on top. And that, um, that supports the back of it on, onto the floor. So you got a completely flat bed. So that's it in bed mode. You've got a six foot odd double bed there. Ample for most people. And after you've had a sleep, easy to do to put it back into day mode setup. Slot it into the headrest that supports that. Then you simply remove these cushions. Slide the wood out. which allows you to climb in and as you can see there's uh, just enough headroom for me I mean this is not the position that I sit in to be honest to be honest if I'm going to sit down here I will sit back and chill out like this I've got plenty of headroom here 
And obviously, if the kids come with me, there's quite there's there's not loads of room. There's not loads of room, but there's enough room. Couple of scatter cushions, and the cushions that you take out from the bed part. Become your backrests. Now you have your boot jump. Now what's happening with these? At the front here, this is going to be a drawer that's going to contain the cooker. Uh, not decided about this one yet. I might just put a drawer front on and um, use it for storage. As you can see at the moment, it's full of all the bits and pieces that I've been using to to do the boot jump up. Uh, but that will be um, either another drawer or storage baskets, keep stuff in. Like I say, I haven't decided about that yet, but definitely going to house the cooker in, in this one here. <laughs> 